morning. Today is April 2nd, Tuesday in the octave of Easter. On behalf of St. Juliana Falconary Catholic Church in Fullerton, California, welcome. And thank you for joining us this morning. The Mass readings today can be found at stjulianachurch.org. Please visit this website frequently for updates and faith formation resources. We invite you now to participate prayerfully as Father Michael Pontarelli celebrates the Mass. Let's begin our Mass this morning with hymn number 559, Keep in Mind, 559, just the refrain, Keep in Mind, 559. Keep in mind that Jesus Christ has died for us and is risen from the dead. He is our saving Lord. He is joy for all ages. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God his Father, and the companionship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We've gathered together on this Tuesday of Easter week to celebrate the mysteries of the Holy Mass. Let us remember the way that we've recognized Jesus and give thanks for the times we've been unaware of his presence. We ask sorrow. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, Christ, have Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father, amen. And let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that, possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over the gladness, over what gladdens them now on earth, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and they asked Peter and the other apostles, what are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promises made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other, other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourself from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, the earth is full of goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The, the earth, earth is, is full, full of the goodness, goodness of, of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to, deli to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full, full of, the of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The earth, the earth is, is full of the, the goodness, goodness of the Lord. Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They've taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you have taken him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I am not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. I get sort of frustrated when I hear people think that, well, there's just kind of synonyms for words. Like, you know, faith means hope or faith means trust. No, no, not at all. Hope means hope and, and trust means trust and a good cigar is more than five cents. But faith means an experience of God as that God is revealed in Jesus Christ. For Christians, it works. An experience of God as God is revealed in Jesus Christ. And what's happening these days from Easter on that there's an experience of God revealed in Jesus Christ like they've never seen before. Remember the question on Good Friday, the Passion of John. They're asking, whom are you looking for? Jesus the Nazarene. And what's the question today? Whom are you looking for? I'm looking for Jesus, and I don't know where they put him. Because, you know, usually a dead person tends to remain in a tomb. But this tomb is empty. But Jesus is there. And that's the whole point. The courage to notice that Jesus is there and the joy to go and celebrate it with other people. That's what's happening in, Saint, uh, in the Acts of the Apostles with St. Peter as well. The courage to know that I'm alive with Jesus and I'm going to tell all these people. And 3,000 are added that day alone. What a great scene it was at the Easter Vigil when one of the newly baptized sort of held up his candle like the Statue of Liberty, just all happy. It takes courage to do that, a young person, to show courage and joy that the, uh, uh, the presence of the Lord in the life, to have faith. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. We can express the goodness of the earth as a scientist might with all kinds of wondrous ideas of 
spectroscopy of light and colors and, and everything. We can express the goodness of the earth as a poet might, with words that just capture the imagination, or capture the goodness of the earth as a person of faith might, and see God's hand in everything. Let us really have faith these days, that is, an experience of God, as God is revealed in Jesus Christ, and see if it doesn't give us joy, and see if it doesn't give us the courage to go and tell others the good news, going out with courage and joy. May we spread the good news today. God bless. Let us bring our hearts and our petitions to the Lord, trusting that in this time, and according to his will, our prayers will be heard and answered. For Holy Church, as she continues to proclaim Jesus Christ risen, we pray to the Lord. For public authorities, may the gospel be their guide as they govern their people and communities. We pray to the Lord. For the sick, may Jesus, the suffering servant, bring them peace and healing, we pray to the Lord. For this and all communities in, gathered together in faith, may the risen Lord make this a time of joy and growth for all of us, we pray to the Lord. For Ron Castle and all who have died, that they experience the fullness of God's mercy in heaven, for everyone for whom we've promised to pray. We pray to the Lord. Father in heaven, in your great kindness, hear and answer our petitions this day. We bring them to you through your Son and our Lord Jesus Christ, risen forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer to you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer to you, fruits of the vines, works of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. Our altar table is ready now, and pray that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, the Almighty and loving Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept in, con accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. 
and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plene Sucele et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, Qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, O Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his brother bishops, and all who minister in your name. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your great mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with saints Juliana and Peregrine and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and using the words that Jesus taught us, together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
greet each other with the peace of Christ. On your stay, we told us peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, we told us peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, we told us peccata mundi. Dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the table of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion antiphon. If you have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above. Where Christ is seated at the right hand of God, mind the things that are above. Alleluia. And for those who cannot join us this morning, an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament will continue until 8 o'clock tonight. Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. And go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Regina Celi, Laetare. Alleluia. Quia quem eruisti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit, sicut dixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.